Welcome to Bowling Green, Kentucky, home of Big Red and the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. We're expecting a full house, and they are more than ready to get things started. Today, we have a big Conference USA showdown in store. As we'll see, the Kennesaw State Owls taking on the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Kennesaw State ready to kick it off and get this game going. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers offense will take the first swing of the game. And not only is this guy the energy and the engine of the offense, there's a certain charisma that he has that sort of elevates everyone around him. He's got a moxie about him, Reese. It just seems like when he's in the huddle, he's got 10 other sets of eyeballs looking at him and believing in him to lead this offense down the field towards scoring points. This guy is a leader in every sense of the word. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Pulls it and fires to the left. They get him down after he makes a catch. It's early in the game, and as offenses try to get their rhythm, these easy completions are very important because that's what helps you get your feet underneath you as an offense and as a unit. And hopefully, as this game goes on, they'll be able to rev up and get more aggressive taking shots. And here comes the offense on second down. Off play action. Throws to the wide out. Wide open downfield. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. I really like the slot receiver, and I understand he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he just runs really good routes, and he's always under control. He can run option routes. He can run double moves. He does a great job cutting, and he's dangerous after the catch. Nice weapon to have work in the middle of the field. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Let's it fly. And incomplete on the deep ball. Man, that is one this QB is going to wish he had back. That receiver was so wide open. There was nobody even near him, and the quarterback somehow overthrew him. Now second and ten. They keep attacking through the air. Just a short pass to the tight end. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Great effort by the defense here. Offense trying to go wide receiver screen. How about the speed on defense round to the football? This offense has a second down play. Running back goes in motion. On second down, he'll fire. Finds his tight end. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. Well, a nice completion there, finding the tight end. And what's so beautiful about that is while they didn't get the first, they were able to pick up enough yards now to make the third down manageable, really putting this offense in a good position. The seventh play of this opening drive, they'll need to move the chains on third and short. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. You've got to be loving what you're seeing from your offense here on the opening drive of this game. They're in a really nice rhythm. They've got real good balance going on right now, and they've got the defense on their heels. The Hilltoppers are threatening on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line.
defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Wide out in motion. The quarterback quick pass to the receiver. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still just a very short game. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to push, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. And he'll try it from the right hash, and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. Splits the uprights right down the middle. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it. So you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen, you set yourself up for a field goal. You knock it through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. He'll start the return inside his five. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. So Kennesaw State's offense has its first opportunity of the day. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Wants to throw. It's Bryson. Under heat, and he gets rid of it. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. Now the play fake. Grab near the marker is Kent. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances, third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. Slings it downfield. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Well, the quarterback knew where he wanted to go with the ball. His intended target just wasn't open, so the quarterback made sure he put that football in the stands. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. They'll give it to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And how about the timing of the linebacker on the blitz to get in the backfield and get the tackle for loss? Is there anything better for a linebacker than to run on a blitz and nobody's home except the back? Such a great feeling when, when the Moses parts the Red Sea and the hole opens up and you go fill it. Third and long. He's going to have to throw for it. Going to let it fly. And he makes the catch at the 25. Run out of bounds after the long game, but they've got it now first and goal. And, man, he had nobody around him. That has got to be embarrassing for this defense. When you let someone that deep downfield go completely uncovered. Kennesaw State has a chance now on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. 
He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. When the offense gets in those multiple tight end looks, you kind of have a good understanding of what's coming. You don't know where the ball's going necessarily, but they put those big old bodies in there to block to move people, to put more mass on the field, especially once you get in this red area where you have to be able to run the football effectively. Those passing windows tend to shrink a lot. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Owls! Well, the offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TD. On to attempt the try. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So a drive there of 85 yards, and it was punctuated by an 11-yard run for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. He lobs one high down the left side. And they can't make the connection going for a big play on first down. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air. And offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't picked. Line getting set on second down. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Grabbed behind the line. It's Young. And he'll be run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Not a very productive play there. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. From the gun, wants to pass. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. QBs and receivers on third down. Everything has to happen just a split second sooner. You're expecting pressure. The quarterback gets hit just down on the same page with his target. And the Hilltoppers will send out the punt unit. And goes into the air for the fair catch, and the catch is made around the 40. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. Back to the ground game on the left. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. Dropping back, it's Bryson. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. And this sophomore quarterback learning when to use his legs to move the chains. Well, he does a really nice job buying time, and I love the awareness there, understanding no one's open downfield, knowing where the sticks are, and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. The give to the back. And the ball is loose and live in the backfield. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. Oh, and it's a hit like that that will absolutely light up the sideline, light up the stadium, change the momentum, and help you win a football game because that hit is what caused that fumble.
Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. They'll leave it with him. Here it is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yardage situations. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Hey, third down and short, you know the quarterback absolutely is going to be a part of the run game. The defense was not fooled, flew up, made the tackle, stick that fist in the air, fourth down coming. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. And he's going to have to get into this football. This is a 53-yard attempt. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. On the move from inside is five. And the returner will be dragged down. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. This time, they need to take care of the ball and maybe extend this lead, David. And I think you got to look at the positive reason. You still got the lead. Now take care of the football. Put a nice drive together, Jesse. You don't have to stress. We're still winning. I feel like they think that player for player, they're the better unit on the field right now. They just got to make more plays. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Leaves it with the running back. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back, and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Looking to move it through the air. Makes the grab outside. It's Wallace. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket the slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. After the short completion, let's see if they go back to the air. To throw, it's Bryson. He's got the tight end. 
And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come over. Gets rid of it. Finds his man. It's Wallace. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Stop me when you've heard this before. First down. First down. First down. Just continuing to put first downs together. So far, this defense, I just can't find any answers. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. Used to play fake. Now to throw. Deep shot for the end zone. And it's caught. You don't give a hoot. Kennesaw State does. Touchdown, Owls. The field position was bad. The finish was great. Great way to answer that poor field position. Poor field position, no problem. How about it? Great job by the offense coordinator. This offense getting in a good rhythm early, even backed up, even in a predictable situation. Great job coming out. Lining up to add another. And they kick it through for the extra point, and they have an eight-point lead. So a drive there of 85 yards, and they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. He's going to pass. Incomplete thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. There's a lot of QBs that when they get hit and when they get hurried and when they get pressured, they become very average. Really nice job by the defense pressuring the quarterback. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion. It's second and 10. He's looking to throw. Fires to the right. And it's intercepted. A turnover for the defense. He didn't get a lot on the return, but man, he set his offense up at the 30. I love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively. If they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live in dime. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back, breaking on the football, making the INT, making the DC look very smart. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. That is exactly what most offenses will do. Big momentum play. My defense creates a turnover. I'm being aggressive. I'm going for the big score, the big play down the field. They get rewarded. They get the big passing touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they move on top by 15. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck quickly for the touchdown. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. Leaves it with the back. 
Smashes through. Find some space enough to get five to the 22. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The back goes in motion. He wants to throw here on second down. Caught near the sticks, it's Johnson. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. He wants to throw. Fires to the tight end. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. The completion short of the sticks. It's second down. The give out of the gun. The Hilltoppers pick up the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. And the Hilltoppers are rolling down the field. Caught in the backfield, it's Johnson. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. During the week, you got to talk to your quarterback. Quarterback, what do you like? What's your favorite, safest routes, easiest reads? Love coming out with those early with the short passing game. We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. He'll pull it on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. From the gun, wants to pass. Gets it out fast. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen. Instead, nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. He's got his man. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Going to run it. It's Young. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And just nowhere to go for that runner. He had no choice. That defense, they were bringing it up front. Everybody winning their one-on-ones, and they completely had him surrounded. The marker rests at the 39, and that's what they need here on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. The short hands, it's Young. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. They'd hope to get him in space, create running room, and there just wasn't anything there. Yeah, I love the third down aggressive, in-your-face defense, not giving you any room to run down the field. Great job by the defense. They saw the throw, the quick pass, reacted to it, got him on the ground for a loss. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. Got it in the middle. It's Wallace. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. 
These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. They'll leave it with the lone back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I love when you start bringing linebackers up near the line of scrimmage and you start sending them because those guys have serious speed. They can come catch anybody up and down the line of scrimmage. The linebacker, you could tell, he had a good clue what was going on. He knew it was a run play, fired, pulled the trigger, came downhill, and attacked the running back. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He unleashes a long one. And trying to put points on the board on third down, now they're staring at fourth down. And money down is where you see defenses really understand where the sticks are, play great pass defense, know what's coming, and get off the field. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. He'll try to really get into this one. He'll bring it back. It's Hutchinson. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And they weren't able to make the connection. They were looking for an explosive play. You hear about shot plays all the time. Offensive coordinators love to take deep shots down the field. They plan them. They plan when they're going to do them. And I bet you will plan to see a few more throughout this game. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Young. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Third down coming up after that completion. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. The Hilltoppers have it with a first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Caught in the backfield. It's Young. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football. They play a wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. And now on second down for this offense. The gift to the back. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. You got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back, make the game easy. And the Hilltoppers are on the move. Pulls and fires complete. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Oh, and a great job by the defense seeing it right away, reacting to the screen, going and getting the football, and getting the fast playmaker on the ground. Here comes the offense on second down. Looking for space, it's Young. Makes the tackle at the 31. It's a pickup of five on the play. I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table. Everything's available. High success rate. Ball at the 31. Third and short coming. Defense trying to rise up. Finds his big tight end. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. 
Well, not down in distance. The quarterback's got to get rid of it so quickly, right? He knows the defense is going to be bearing down on him. So a nice job catching the gun snap and then turning and pivoting, getting it out of his hands quickly and accurately to pick up the first. It's now first and 10 from the 24-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. Grabbed over the middle. It's Smith. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Hilltopper. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Ready to try the point after. And after the extra point, it's a one possession game down 21-13. They took it 68 yards on that drive and they finished things up with a dart from 24 yards out. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. They'll give it on the counter. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give to the lone running back. At the 35, he's loose. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. To the ground with the back. Couldn't fight his way out of his grasp. Defense is about firing off hitting the offensive guys and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Dropping back, it's Bryson. Makes his connection. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I needed to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it because he really didn't have a choice because he was going to wear that one regardless. Just shy of midfield at the 47. The defense needs a third down stop. Looking to throw for it. And they get the sack right out of the gate. This is a good sign for this defense. The rate they were going, not touching the quarterback, him already having two touchdown passes in the first half, this was not going to be a fun football game to watch. Now they're turning the tide a little bit, getting a little bit of pressure, getting a sack. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. guys do their job and they get him stopped at the 22 yard line here comes the western kentucky offense back onto the field off the play fake on first down catch in the middle it's young i want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible and sometimes it doesn't work in the running game but i can throw it to them i can try to create some space out wide dump them the football let them make some catches and see if i can't get some big plays out of them now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. The give from the gun. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just 
I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. And now on first down, after converting with the run. To the ground, he's got it again. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for you. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Caught behind the line. It's Young. Tackled immediately after the catch. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and I got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. The Hilltoppers are on the move. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They make the stop of this running game, moves the chains as they get the first down. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. And the Hilltoppers will snap it on first and ten. He's going to pass. Firing to the right, complete. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before. He makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. Last couple of plays, the offense seems to be just one step ahead, David. Yeah, and I'm going to have to do something to disrupt the timing, the rhythm. i got to do something that they're not expecting, because right now they got the run and they got the pass working. So this defense, they're going to have to find something new to kind of confuse this offense. Got a man. Keeps the legs moving. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. I don't know if that's the coverage you want to be throwing wide receiver screens against. Oftentimes, you want the receivers to have some access. You want the DBs to be off a couple yards so you can help set up the blocks and give the receivers somewhere to go with it. It's hard to run that against press coverage, and they only picked up a few yards there. Try and play action. He makes the grab. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. You know, oftentimes these slot receivers, they're not the biggest guys in the world, but they're really good at finding the open spaces in the middle of the field. And you saw that guy attack the defense in the perfect spot, making life easy for his QB. They've moved to the 16. It's first and 10. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. He's got it on the run. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He'll just keep slinging it. Trying to get to him. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Well, you just sort of felt like this defense had to do something to get this quarterback out of a rhythm, right? He's been picking them apart all drive long, and finally, they come up with a sack. They've methodically worked the ball down the field. 11th play of the drive coming up, but this one third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Touchdown, WKU! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. 
you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Right down the middle. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there getting set. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. Got his man quickly. All the way out to the 37-yard line. It's a gain of 15. Great job by the offense being patient, understanding when they're in zone coverage, I got to hit those tight windows, make those precise passes to get those big plays. They gave themselves room to operate with that first play. Now first down from the 37. Dropping back, it's Bryson. He finds his man. They'll immediately call timeout. And a nice job separating by the slot receiver on that in route. Man-to-man -man coverage. He put his foot in the ground and created a little bit of separation. And that made that play work. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Quickly to the tight end. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. Going up top on first down. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. It's caught downfield. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Man, this quarterback is having himself a day. Over 200 yards in the first half. It was hard enough for Palmer to get over 200 in a game, more or less in a first half. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. He wants to throw. They're working that left side. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. And he'll need a little distance and to bend it just right. A 41-yarder from the left hash. Smashes it between the uprights. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, looks like we've got a great atmosphere today in Bowling Green, Kentucky. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at LT Smith Stadium.
The Hilltoppers will kick it away to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. He'll start this third quarter with a run. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. On the move. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense. Showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. Now facing a third and long. Looking downfield, it's Bryson. Let's it fly. Finds a man in the middle. And the explosiveness, the big gainer, gets it to the 49-yard line. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Got it in the middle. It's Kent. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Now on second down. Running back searching for a hole. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Great team defense on that one. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. They just can't do it better. Looking to pick up a first down on third and short from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. It's caught. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. I was starting to think about what they would do if they didn't pick up the first down here, but I guess that's a moot point now. Moot point for sure. And the head coach was probably telling them four down territory, we're going to kick a field goal, whatever the next decision was going to be. And now the OC is like, don't worry about it. New set of downs, nice execution by this offense. Grabbed in the middle, it's Kent. As a tight end, if you're going to be good in the passing game, you've got to be able to feel the windows when defenses play zone coverage. And he did a really good job of that right there. He didn't rush. He didn't hurry. He took his time, found the soft spot, and gave his quarterback an easy place to throw the football. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. Looking downfield, it's Bryson. Steps away to find some room. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. I love the play call there, too, because second and short, defense is thinking you might run it. So you try to catch him off guard with the pass. Nothing there. Even if you throw an incompletion, you're going to have a chance to run it the very next play. But it doesn't matter. This guy's just so athletic himself. He's able to go get the first. Let's get a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Quickly complete. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Really good concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down, setting up an easier second down. Understanding I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, it's not a big game, but makes life really easy on me on second down. He's got it on the move. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. Kennesaw State has a chance now on first and goal. They'll try to slam it in. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
So on offense, you've got to find a way to put six up on the board. You know that in this game, field goals may not get it done. So big-time players make big plays in big games. Who can you rely on right now to get you a touchdown? Can the D deny them on second and goal? He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. And they've been able to get within two yards. Now will they try to throw it in for the score? It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. A really short kick, but you've got to have that angle just right. And he missed it. No good. Guys, after the miss, still up by four. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can... And the ball is intercepted! What a nice play, and even with the short return, they're in scoring position at the 18. Offense working from the pistol. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Kent. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. After that last completion, it's second down. Off the bootleg and rolling out. Tosses it incomplete. Well, there was something the quarterback liked in the pre-snap there, thinking his primary target was going to have a favorable matchup. The defense did a nice job disguising that look. They got more bodies over to him and forced the incompletion. If they don't pick up this third down, let's see if they trust their field goal kicker after the miss on the last drive. Off the play fake. Feeling some heat. Caught near the sticks. It's Kent. And he's brought down after a nice game. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down and in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut punch. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. They'll run it to the right. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. They'll run it on the counter. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs managed. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Using his legs to buy some time. Headed toward the end zone, and they knock it loose. Oh, and just like they drew it up, put it on the ground, fall on top of it, still get the first down. Good presence of mind by the quarterback there to not panic when the ball went on the ground and able to get it back. I would just like to see better ball security, Reese, from the quarterback, too. You know, you got to keep two hands on the ball at all times. It doesn't matter. You're looking downfield. You know you're going to have guys around you trying to swat away at the football. 
got to keep two points of pressure at minimum on that ball, and the quarterback lucky to fall on that one. They lost ground on first down, now second and goal from the five. The run up the middle, looking for the score. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. And this offense trying to be physical inside the five-yard line. I get it, but I tell you what, Palmer, this quarterback has earned some trust for me with the day he's had. Yeah, right now he's thinking, put the game in my hands. I'm playing well, and I'm seeing the defense well. I see what they're doing from a coverage standpoint. Count up. And to the house. Touchdown, Owls. This guy is officially a problem. His second receiving touchdown of the game. Nice job by the offense. Dude, if I've got a matchup I like, continue to pick at it until they stop it. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. That's how you take advantage of great starting field position, moving at 27 yards. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into a rhythm. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this offense a little bit. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. The play action fake. Throws to the wide out. Complete to the left. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. Well, they execute the in route. How about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. From the gun, running back on the move. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll try the run. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. They'll run play action. to avoid a negative play. Yeah, and in third and short, it's a great place to be for an offense. You got the whole playbook available, and they choose to pass that the defense did a really good job playing the pass, and fourth down now, it's decision time for you. And the Hilltoppers line up to punt it away. Hauls it in and looking upfield. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. He'll do it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I'll tell you, this is a hard defense to run against if you're going to go sideline to sideline because of that guy's speed at linebacker. He can get all the way to the perimeter, chase the quarterback down on the option, and make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Impressive. 
Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Off play action. Looking deep. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Looking to throw, it's Bryson. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. You know what, Reese, it is a great play, and I think they were a nickel, so they brought an extra guy on the field that has some speed, take a linebacker that's a little bit slower off the field, and you could see it pay dividends on that third down. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Then the short completion brings up second down. On the run, it's Young. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. A third down try for the offense. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Oh, man, almost an interception on the screen. Instead, it'll be fourth down. Wow, the quarterback got away with one there. He's lucky that defender dropped that pass because if he picks it, he might have taken that one to the house. The Hilltoppers will line up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Catches it cleanly at the 20. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead, Palmer. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Now the play fake. Looking to the big tight end. That is just a sideline clinic. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. And this tight end is having a day. With that last catch, he's now got over 150 receiving yards. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Ball just inside the 40 at the 39. It's third and short. Scanning the field, it's Bryson. Finds the tight end. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. 
And Jesse he just keeps piling up numbers over 350 yards for the game. And I feel like from the get-go, Reese, this guy's just been in a great rhythm all game long. He just seems like he's dialed in, and man, he's been accurate throwing the rock. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Going to try to get it himself. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. On second down, looking again to throw. Here comes the rush, and they've got him wrapped up at the 28. The number one job is to protect their quarterback, and they did not. They did not, but my number one job as a defensive lineman is to attack your quarterback and get him on the ground just like this, get in the sack, rattle this guy as much as you can, as many hits as possible on these quarterbacks. A little less room to work with now. The ball's at the 28, and it's third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. And this offense has had a great day, and they've put some big plays together. But the last two plays, man, getting a little complacent. they got to protect their quarterback. That's back-to-back -back sacks. The offensive line has to do a better job. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. Didn't make them sweat at all. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. The run from the shotgun. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. How about the defender? being a heat-seeking missile. He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. He's looking to throw. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Wide receiver shows motion. On third down, he drops to throw. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Man, how about the offense, man? You run a little play action. I, I can just tell you, third and long as a pass rusher, I'm going to get the quarterback. I don't care about the play action. I'm not biting on it, and neither did the defense. And the Hilltoppers will call on their punt team. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. And the returner goes down. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. 
We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. Off play action on first down. Starting to feel a little pressure. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Well, just nowhere to go there. And it started in the pocket. It was collapsing. Quarterback felt it. So he tried to get outside and make something happen himself. But give the defense tons of credit. Excellent job in pursuit. They're able to give up no gain. They'll line up for a second down play. The give to the tailback. Really good pickup on second down there. Leaves them with third and two. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. From the 36, a third down, and you wonder if they're willing to take two plays to get the first. To the air, it's Bryson. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. And the blitz gets to him just like that. And those outside linebackers nowadays, they're so fast. They got to cover ground. But you can blitz them off the edge, and they can get after quarterbacks. Versatile. That's why they're getting drafted so high in the NFL and getting paid all that money. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. They'll look to pin him deep. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession, Jesse. This offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. He wants to pass it on second down. He's got it. He'll be stopped at the 27, but picks up 10 on that one. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. He'll come out throwing on first down. Quick strike complete. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? you got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. A strike downfield. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. And no messing around right now if you're on offense. This is the time where execution has got to be at a premium. You need to hit completions, David. They need some big plays. Yeah, and you just want to keep pressuring them and keep making them use the clock, give them the underneath stuff. And again, when they drive the football down the field, I just can't give up touchdowns. Field goal at this point is not going to hurt my defense. Grab behind the line. It's Johnson. Make the stop at the 40, but it's a 10-yard gain and a fresh set of downs. And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. Quick release on the RPO. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. I mean, getting suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for a loss. Hit a little speed bump on this drive. It's second and 12. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. That's a bang-bang play, three-step slant. They rep this over and over in practice so they can go out and execute it on game day like that. 
They're looking at a third down and short from the 33. Movement here from the tight end. He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contain. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field and get him to the ground. Going right down the boulevard. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team and they stop him at the 21. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. He'll loft one deep down the left side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Man, if you're going to win games, you have got to hit on the home run type plays. And that was a great opportunity right there. The receiver has got to be able to look that football in and make the catch. Let's see what they've got on second down. To the air. It's Bryson. Takes a hit as he fires. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell in. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Well, I tell you, man, this guy's been putting on a show all game long. We've seen his decision-making. We've seen his athleticism. Because of him, they've got this huge lead in the fourth quarter. So why stop throwing it? Just keep it going when the going's good. Quick handoff. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. They'll go to the ground. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. Ball spotted right at midfield as they try to convert third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking to buy time. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. He's able to pick his way for just a bit, but he'll be stopped at the 18. Good job by the punt team. Looking to go up top on first down. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. How nice is it as a defense when you can drop seven guys in a coverage, only rush four, and still get home. That makes you feel good if you're the D coordinator. Here 
If they're going to get anything going on this drive, they better be productive here on second and long from the 10. He's looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. They say tight ends are a quarterback's best friend in the pass game because think about it. The tight end's the guy lined up closest to the quarterback, which means generally those are the easiest throws a quarterback has. You saw it on that play. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Fires one high and deep. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like... It's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. You've got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. He'll take another shot here. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. To the air, it's Bryson. He's got it and still on his feet. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. Trying play action. Coming after it. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. I think this quarterback now at this point is looking over to the sideline saying, hey, can we just not throw it anymore? I mean, my guys, they can't block for me. I've got no chance back here. We need to just run the ball from this point out. And guys, they really need to make something happen on this third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. It's complete. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. They showed great trust in their quarterback right there, and why not? He's had an outstanding game. The outstanding game has taken care of the football. Now late in the game, you got the lead. That first down now tells me now it's time to start running the football, run the clock, get out of here with the dub. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the offense trying now to put this thing away. They're going to keep running the football to keep bleeding the clock. They've got the lead here late now down by the goal line. Just take as many seconds off the clock as you can before snapping this football and keep running. Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. On second and goal, he gets another chance. And he takes it in for the score. You don't give a hoot. Kennesaw State does. Touchdown, Owls. And the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You could tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. They'll try to add another to their lead. And now with the extra point, they're up by 18 here in the fourth. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. He makes the connection. Knocked down immediately, but a nice pickup on that one. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. On second down, he'll let it fly. It's complete to the left. 
He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. The defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He's looking to throw it. He's going for it all. He's got it down the left side. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. The Hilltoppers have it with a first and ten. Looking to throw it again. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. Touchdown, Topper! And they take it in for six more points. Nice job by the offense going down the field, putting points on the board, but you're still down a couple possessions. Still need some good things to happen. You need your kicker to go over there and get warmed up. We need an onside. We need to score some points. We need a lot of things to go right to win this football game. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's up and good. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they put the points on the board with that 37-yard touchdown pass. They are running out of time here. They need to get the ball back. They'll line up for the onside kick. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Wouldn't be surprised to see them go right back to the run on second down and maybe put this thing away. They'll put the tight end in motion. just feeds the running back. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Ball at the 31, third and short coming defense trying to rise up. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. He'll come through on third down as he's got enough and they'll mark it at the 23. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Here comes the offense on first down. With the game in hand, the offense choosing to just have the quarterback take a knee. 